Welcome to Accounting in Focus. In this video, we're going to do a horizontal analysis on a balance sheet. In order to do a horizontal analysis, you need to have at least two years worth of information because if you think about the word horizontal, right, it means horizon. So that means that your analysis is going across two years. Okay, so that's my horizontal line there. So basically what we're doing is we're comparing the performance from one year to the performance of another year. Okay, so let's, uh, let's look at our numbers here and see what we got. So the first thing you want to do when you're doing a horizontal analysis is you want to take the difference between the two years. And whenever you do this, you want to do the most current year minus the older year. Okay, so I'm going to do We'll say equals dollar change. So 2015 minus 2014 equals my dollar change. Now, unlike when you were doing um, the flex budget, we're actually going to say whether or not these changes are positive or negative because notice there's no um, favorable or unfavorable column here. So I'm going to take 3,520,000 minus five million three hundred thousand that's going to give me a negative number because the 2014 number is larger than the 2015 number and that is going to give me a change of one million seven hundred eighty thousand okay so let's do all the dollar changes first so ten million minus eight million that is a positive change of two million dollars my other assets um, were 6.2 at the end of 2015 but they were 8.5 million at the end of 2014 so that's a negative difference they went down of two million three hundred thousand and then my total assets decreased by two million eighty thousand okay so we're gonna do the same thing with our liabilities now if my total assets decreased by two million eighty thousand then my total liabilities did as well I might as well just put that in while I've got that number in my head. Current liabilities decreased. So that was 1,595,000. And remember, all we're doing is taking 2015 minus 2014. So again, my long term liabilities went down by 1,515,000. And my common stock went up by one million. And my retained earnings increased by 30,000. Okay, so now I have all the differences, right? So the first step is done. Now I have to do the percent change. The percent change is going to be, I'm gonna write the formula down here at the bottom. The percent change is equal to the dollar change divided by the previous year. Okay, you can also say that that's the, the starting year, the original year, the oldest year. So essentially what we're doing is we're going to take the dollar change and we're going to divide it by 2014 because this is my previous year. Okay, so in this case it's going to be in these statements it's going to be the dollar change divided by 2014 number. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so let's go through and, and calculate some of these. So I'm going to take 1,780,000 divided by 5.3 million, because this is my older year. That gives me a percent change. It's negative 33.58%. Okay, so that's it. So for property plan equipment, 2 million divided by 8 million, because that's my older year. So that was an increase of 25%. Other assets do the same thing 2.3 million divided by the 2014 number, 8.5 million. That's a negative 27.06%. Same thing with total assets. My total assets decreased by 9.54%. Okay, 
and the same thing with my total liabilities and equity because that's the same number five four percent okay let's put in the current liabilities because I think you get this at this point because I want to talk a little bit about how you interpret this okay so current liabilities down 45.57 long-term liabilities down 16.62 common stock was up 25% and retained earnings was up just a smidge at 0.58% okay so very small change there okay so now why do we do all this what is the point well what this does is it allows us to look at large variances and see if there's anything we should be concerned with and also it helps us kind of figure out where things went so notice current liabilities are down by quite a bit but it looks like the company's strategy in decreasing their current liabilities was increasing property plant equipment um, Incre decreasing current liabilities, decreasing long-term liabilities, okay? You'll notice they had some other assets here, maybe those were some investments, you know, some long-term investments, that, the they sold those as well, so some of the other assets were sold. So it looks to me, interpreting this, that the company had a strategy in 2015 to increase its assets, right, because assets went up, and decrease its debt okay and it did that through decreasing current liabilities decreasing other assets and increasing common stock okay so notice that the increase in common stock was probably used to do some of those things so essentially that's what a horizontal analysis does for us with the balance sheet is it kinda helps to explain okay how were assets and liabilities shifting around where did things go and kind of come up with a story of the company's balance sheet activity for the year. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please make sure to leave a comment below. Uh, if you thought the video was helpful, please like it, share it with your friends because that really helps me um, find new viewers for my videos. So I appreciate all your help. You guys have been awesome. Thanks so much. Bye.